Lebanon School District is proud of its many employees that have served in the military and aims to prepare its students to become active and responsible citizens. For November's monthly moment, we sat down and spoke with some of our esteemed staff about the importance of civics education in our schools, as well as student involvement in their time in the military. Well, I spent 23 years in the military, five years in the Marine Corps, and about 17 years in the Army. Uh, was able to be stationed in all different uh, parts of, of uh, Europe, Asia, uh, the United States. Uh, it was a great opportunity for a kid like me in a small western Pennsylvania town to, to see the world, see different cultures, uh, things like that. So was it rewarding? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to people? Uh, absolutely. So I spent 28 years in the active duty army, um, some of it overseas, fighting two wars. Um, it was, well actually three wars, Cold War as well. It was a great experience overall, some tough times, but uh, I thought it was a great way to serve the nation um, and meet my civic duty as I saw it. So I spent 26 years in the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. Uh, so that's part-time service, but I was deployed multiple times. I served in places like Germany, Kuwait, Iraq. I've had opportunities to go to places like South Korea, and as I've told my students numerous times, even to places like Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. We spent some time, in fact on numerous occasions, work, working with the Puerto Rican National Guard uh, in the what's called the Homeland Response Force. And even though I just retired last year, the last big thing that I did in my military career was, as a part of the Pennsylvania National Guard, we helped respond to the COVID-19 pandemic by setting up testing sites throughout the state, and by helping to train medical and other first responders on proper usage of PPE equipment. So I had a long career, but I'm um, glad to be retired now because I could have a beard and I could have longer hair. Yes, I, I think in a world where information comes in everybody so fast that everybody regard, you know, from maybe eighth or ninth grade on needs to know a little bit about who we are as a country, what we do, and, and, and what's happening in the world because we're we're, we're, we're teaching these kids to be adults, and at some point, they're going to have the opportunity to vote. And if we can get them involved in what's going on in the world now, it's going to make them a more educated voter when it comes time to vote. I think civic education is critical because all of us, um, as citizens and or residents of the United States, um, what happens in the civic realm, the political realm, affects all of us. So it's very critical for us to understand, students to understand, how the system works and how they can influence the system and how the influence impacts their daily lives, because it does. Um, you really need to know what's going on, otherwise it's going to happen to you. Because you guys in Lebanon High School and throughout the country, students, you're the future. So you have to embrace your civic responsibility to be a good citizen. All the social studies classes here at Lebanon teach about the importance of citizenship and what it means to be a good citizen in the classroom, in the community, and for your country. So it's essential that we teach and model good citizenship. We want to make our soldiers better so that they can do their job. Uh, we expect the same thing from the kids. If you, if you set a standard, a student will meet it. If you don't set them a set of standard, they're going to create the standard and it's not going to work. So set, set high standards, ensure that the students meet them, and they will if, you, if, if, if it's clear. And the education process becomes a little bit easier that way. Uh, well, I was fortunate the military service that I did involved a lot of teaching, from teaching uh, young folks straight out of high school when I was initially in the Army, to later teaching foreigners how to defend their country, or in some cases how to overthrow the country if the country wasn't going well. So the same methods apply. Boom. That's the most important thing. But not only be doing that, but volunteering, being a good good cedar, right? Being responsible, being safe, doing good things in your community, volunteering in your community, learning about candidates who are running for office. I know Mr. Roland, Mrs. Creeland, and Mrs. Mr. Bodell are teaching civics right now. They're doing some wonderful things. And Mr. Roland is asking for students to volunteer to work at polling places. That's another great way that students can be engaged in their community and fulfill their civic responsibility. One key component of being a responsible and active citizen includes having concern for the welfare of others, and the Lebanon School District works diligently to ensure that its community is taken care of each and every day. 
My name is Kim Briggs, and I am one of the social workers here for this district. Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week is coming up. It's November 11th to the 18th. This is an annual event that started in 1975 at Villanova University, and the goal is to raise awareness across the country with um, the problems around hunger and homelessness. So what we do, um, this will be our second year, is we have a, a staff dress down day of $5 on November the 17th. Um, and all the proceeds from that will go to fund our cedar closet. So last year we raised um, $812. So our goal this year, hopefully, is to get folks to help us beat that. Because um, last year in Lebanon County, there were 611 um, students that were identified as being housed um, having housing difficulties and 464 of them are right here in Lebanon City. Um, what we do is we do an intake when students are registered or if somebody comes to us throughout the school year we try to offer support with housing resources. We can give information about doctors, counseling services, um, and like I said we have our Cedars closet which is clothing, um, winter coats, um, school supplies, backpacks, and hygiene items that we can help families with. So what are you waiting for? Get involved this month in any way you can, whether it looks like volunteering at your local food pantry or taking the time to vote and make your voice heard. 